What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Earthbound. I've been loving recording this so far. In the last part, we beat up the sharks. And in this part, we're going to go to the giant staff, which they instruct us to. Rumor has it, the shark boss hanging out near the giant staff. He's saying the same thing as before. But um, we're going to go to the mayor. This is the town hall. This is, one, this is the one area on it we have not explored yet. Now, if we talk to him... There are lots of snakes and stray dogs on that. Is the mayor going to let them just run around doing whatever they want? I'm here to protest. Good luck, buddy. Politicians are crooks. Life lesson. Since you beat up the sharks, you're the top of the town. Mayor Perkle is waiting for you. Now, if we go upstairs... Thank you so much for all your help. In the next, in the next election, please give a speech to point Mayor Perkle. Hee hee hee. Hey, 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 I'm Mayor, Mayor B.H. Perkle. It's so nice to meet you. You beat up the town bullies, punched them up big time, kicked their butts, bit their heads up, thin their eyes, and made them wet their pants. And then you forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. What? You want to keep the town in here, Shaq? For some reason, someone as great as you, giving you the key could help me keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please ask me to take any responsibility. Hey, so it's just like any politician. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Yes. You said the smart kid. He has to give the shack. And we got the key to the shack, which will basically allow us to go, uh, which will basically go to allow us to um, go to that shack that we couldn't earlier because it's locked. Only the mayor has the key. So, um, yeah, we're going to hang up. So, um, I'm going to... I'm gonna take out some money so I can maybe buy up, buy some hamburgers. If some, um, I wanna, um, you know, even having played this game like maybe 10, 10 ish times, I still occasionally get lost in these areas. And we have $150 in the bank, so, um, I'm gonna take out that $150 when I spend it all on burgers. I'm gonna call her dad and, uh, we're basically gonna call her down. Basically, we're gonna save up to this. We're gonna save our progress. So, um, now, um, I'll also kind of explain to you, um, also one thing. If we can call her mom, is that you, Ness? You call me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here, everyone just doing fine. Oh yes, Tracy Star work part time. Ask Star Girl with us. Hell, you talk to her and call me when you have some time. Oh, don't you have any free time? Here's Tracy. Hello, this is X Target with Press. This is that you, Nest Big Bro. It's me, Tracy. I'm working part night for X Target with Press. What are you gonna do for you? Pick up. You wanna store something for you? We'll send someone over here to pick it up. Now, X Target with Press can store up to three items at a time. So um basically you just walk around and they'll send they basically send a delivery man your way. I'm just gonna clear up a little bit of inventory space. Hello, this is X Target with Press. Your delivery charge is $18. Can you cover the bill right? And we're gonna we're gonna, we don't need the can of fruit juice. Don't think we need the town map. And uh, we don't need. Uh, I think that's all we can. We so we're gonna Sam take two things, and we're just gonna buy burgers because uh, that'll be a great healing item. And uh, you're gonna need to heal as much as possible in this next area. I did not mean to buy the can of fruit juice. That's what you get when you tap the button. We're gonna buy a bunch of hamburgers and. Uh, I'd say maybe like six or seven should do it. All right, that should be good. So um, yeah, now we're gonna leave on it and then go to um, now we're gonna leave on it and basically go to the uh, a stem. A girl named Paula is in Tucson. Her mother runs a preschool out of their home. I can't remember the name of the school, but I heard Paula's really special. Why is he special? Forgot to ask how well. Well, maybe she's a creep. She's a weirdo. What the hell is she doing here? She don't belong here. Yeah, to get a Radiohead reference in there. It's amazing, like, how many people only know Radiohead for creep, where, like, they have so much more in their catalog. Now, I thought I wanted to show this. If we, if there's an enemy that we have this tweet to fight, now, um, we'll just instant kill them. We don't have to engage in battle with them. Now, if we talk to them, I heard there's a big footprint on the hilltop behind the shack. I haven't seen it myself. It's just a rumor. The shack was locked with some city off, so we can't use it. There's reason it was close, but a, named Fra a punk named Frank may have trashed the place. What a drag. We can't even change our clothes. Our hotels are too expensive. It was locked now. If we use the key to the shack, door opened. Now, if we talk to them, uh huh, the big footprint is called Giant Sock. Wow, you opened the door, alright. Here's a trick for good luck it's the travel charm. 
Now, the Travel Charm will kind of... Travel Charm must be equipped on your body. It's actually from Paralysis Attacks. Now, uh, we can't really get hit by Paralysis Attacks yet, but uh, we'll just kind of have it on. This is going to be several of those items that do protect you from status elements, and I would recommend using them. Now, anyway... This is the, uh, this is the, uh, Cave to the Giant Steps. Now, uh, there's gonna be new enemies here. Now, when it comes to- This is gonna be the first year Sanctuary location. Also, this is the Rowdy Mouse. The Rowdy Mouse have high guts, meaning they can get really good smash attacks. They didn't get one right there, but, um, they can get some really good smash attacks. They have really high odds against smash attacks. Wow, we smash attacked them. We get 34 XP, so, um, now, I do not recommend fighting the boss until you get to at least level 8. Because we do learn a move. Now, uh, anyway, so what's gonna be here? This is the Black Antoid. Now, the Black Antoids can call for help, heal, and give an, an, a, a, a nice, nasty attack. In the Black Antoid B-Joint battle, so, uh, I, yeah, I'm gonna heal. We don't, you don't, you don't exactly have to worry about using PP because, uh, there will be, uh, there will be magic butterflies, uh, at a later point in this area. Black Antro V became tame. We got 74 experience in the left of present and we got a cookie. We're actually, um, I think I need more inventory space, so let's just use our two of our, both of our cookies. Yeah, so in the present there's a skip sandwich, and uh, this will give us a few X. This will give us uh, some HP and uh, allows us to go faster. New enemy! These are the attack slugs. This is another one of these enemies that drop 1 in 120 AMs. These enemies have a 1 in 128 chance of dropping the bomb. Now, uh, they will get, they're very weak enemies and they know hypnosis. However, after a few turns, they'll be able to concentrate. And that's what causes hypno their hypnosis to land. It doesn't work when their initial few turns, but once you get a few turns in, they will start to concentrate. I think it'll be after we kill this tax on sleep. We're able to concentrate. So if we miss, and we didn't miss, thankfully. And they're also, they also give a lot of XP. So if you're trying to get the one one turning air, that's not level seven. Offense went by two, right? Tell went by one. If you went by one. Max if you went by 12. Max if you went by four. Now, um... If you're trying to get the 128 item, now, these are, even if you're not trying to get the 128 item, um, these are really good um, enemies to grind on. There's another Rowdy Mouse, and, uh, we have, they haven't seen a smash attack yet. Despite them having really high guts. Rowdy Mouse became tame. Anyway, so, um... There's going to be more attack slugs. When there's more of those on screen, you can tell they're attack slugs. I don't intend to get the bomb, even though it is a very useful item for early in the game. But, like, who knows? Maybe we'll get it. But, like, definitely, attack slugs are great enemies to, to farm XP. Because, like, it doesn't mean you get higher and higher up there. And we didn't, we, we didn't quite get a level up, but uh, we're gonna use life up. We have 75 HP and uh, 148 to a level up. Okay, we wanna kinda face back so we don't get a, they don't get a first attack. Another Rowdy Mouse. Finally, they get a smash attack. It took three battles and they get a smash attack. And they get two smash attacks. Like I said, they have high guts. Now, if we go in here, to be a black antoid. It is a black antoid. Now they're not gonna call for help just yet, but um, if we get to a certain level, we should be able to take them out in one shot. Now I do want to save some PP, so we are going to um. I want to save up my hamburger, so we will use PP. There's actually nothing in here, so it's kind of like a waste of space. Now if we climb up here. Are they gonna be black antoids or uh, attack slugs? Black antoids. 
They call for help. Normally, I think the less enemies on the screen, the better odds their call for help succeeds. And I think these black androids typically have like 30 HP. And they call for help. We got a smash attack! Yay! Now, can we get a level up out of this? Ness is now level 8. Guess what, guys? Oh, baby! Offense went up by 3. Defense went up by 2. Speed went up by 1. Guts went up by 2. Luck went up by 2. Max if you went up by 3. Max if you went up by 2. Ness realized power of PSI Mario Alpha, which that's the name of our attack, and that's what we named it in the beginning of the game. That's basically your favorite thing in the game. That's basically the name of Ness's PSI attack. Now, if we go here, Rowdy Mouse. Okay, so I kind of thought the more repetitive these battles get, like, um, that's, I'll start cutting out the footage, because we've already seen all the enemies. There's a cold running inside. Now, um, these, they'll basically get rid of cold stats, which we can't get cold status quite yet, but I would recommend saving that one if you get it. Anyway, so I, that was two black androids, nothing special. Okay, so that was an attack slug and a black android, and um, we didn't get the one in 28 item. I always like to test myself, see how quick I can get those. Because like I said in the last part, it's basically a 0.7 chance of appearing. Anyway, so now that we got that out of our system, so how close do we to level up? We're 177 XP. Anyway, so, um, this is basically, um, this area in the giant step will always contain a magic butterfly which will heal 20 PP, which is great for healing PP. I don't, I don't want to see if we have any more, uh, I don't want to get into battle, but, um, see how many PP we have. We have 27 PP, which should be good for taking out the boss. Like I said, don't fight the boss until you know PSI, whatever you named it. Wow, we're instant, we're instant killing those. We lost the present and it's a cookie. We cannot carry more stuff. I don't want the cookie. Yes, I don't want the cookie. The hamburger inside, got too much stuff. I can take an extra hamburger. Let's get rid of the, uh, let's get rid of the canned fruit juice. We don't need that. I bought a boatload of ham hamburgers because, uh, even though, um... Oh, we're instant killing these. Is there any chance we get a level up on these? No, I don't want the damn cookies. Now, we're approaching- we are actually approaching... What I was saying. We're now approaching the boss. First Sanctuary boss. Now, Definitely get some heal- have some healing items like hamburgers, and definitely learn P your PSI attack before coming here. This is the, uh, Sparkle. That means this is the Sanctuary boss. Finally got here. It's the first Sanctuary location, but it's not now. Take it from me if you dare. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of my favorite boss songs in any game. This is the Sanctuary boss. Now, this is Titanic, and he's gonna have- Two black antoids. This is what. This is basically why I recommended learning your PSI attack before coming here. Now, uh, Titanic will really use Shield Alpha, which will basically take put him strong, strong strengthen him against physical moves, and uh, he'll use a biting attack, which will range anywhere between um, anywhere between twenty and forty damage. Now, I think I'm gonna. I'm just gonna use one of my hamburgers. Yeah, I. Call, I, I basically call that. I might even have to use, um, P I might even have to use Life Up. <laughs> we survived that! You probably don't need to use it a second time, but, uh, we're just gonna use another Life Up, because remember... No! Yes! Oh my god. That's- this is nerve-wracking. We're gonna use a hamburger. There's a reason I bought a shitload of these. He's gonna use another shield alpha. 
He's gonna basically strength himself. I think he's at. This is legit nerve wracking. He also knows me as an alpha. He also knows me as a magnet, which lowers your PP, and he became tame, but he doesn't want to try. That was a nerve wracking boss. Ness is now level 9. Vitality went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Max HP went up by 12. Max PP went up by 3. Ness is now level 10. Offense went up by 2. Guts went up by 1. Max HP went up by 3. Max PP went up by 1. Ness was the power of healing alpha. Yes! I cannot believe I also got that done in the first take. Anyway. This is the first of the year sanctuary locations. Ness caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the giant step. Now, Next time on Earthbound, we're going to, um, go back to Onet. See you guys then.